Hello, Leander ISD. It is indeed an honor and a privilege for me to be here today presenting my first State of the District for Leander ISD. I wish to start by thanking every member of the Leander ISD family for making this possible. AJ Giuliani says it best. Our job is not to prepare students for something. Our job is to help students prepare themselves for anything. Leander ISD is a premier destination district. Welcome to our State of the District presentation 2020. Leander ISD is propelled forward by the vision and management oversight of our incredible board of trustees. When I think about the board, two things immediately come to mind. First, their selfless dedication to our students, our staff, and the LISD community. And second, how smart, experienced, and quick learners they are, passionate about children in LISD. I'd like to introduce each of them to you very briefly. Our board president, Trish Bodie, been on the board since May of 2015. She currently serves as the president, but has also served as the secretary of the board. She has two children in Leander ISD, one of whom is a graduate of 2020. Our vice president, Aaron Johnson, has served on the board since May of 2011. He's also served as the president of the board of trustees. He has four children in Leander ISD, one of whom is also a graduate of the class of 2020. Grace Barbara Jordan has been on the board since May of 2001. She has served as the secretary, the vice president, and the president of the board, and is also a TASB master trustee. Her children have all graduated from Leander ISD. Dr. Gloria Gonzalez Dolakia has served on the board since November of 2018. She has three students in LISD, one of whom is also a proud graduate of the class of 2020. Pam Wagner has served on the board since 2002, serving until 2008, and then again from May of 2010 until the present time. She has served as vice president and president of the board and is also a TASB master trustee. Her three children all graduated from Leander ISD. First Sergeant Jim McKay has served on the board since November of 2016. He has four children, two of whom are graduates of Leander ISD. Alexis Grimes has served on the board since November of 2018. She has two children in Leander ISD, one of whom is a proud graduate. When I did the math, I calculated that our board has dedicated an incredible 55 and a half years of service to our community. And I want to thank them for this incredible volunteer service to the children of Leander ISD. The board has approved district goals for Leander ISD. And what I love about these goals is that they are very closely aligned to the seven pillars of community-based accountability, which we'll talk about a little later in this presentation. The district goals can be divided into four distinct categories in my mind. The first is about our learners, our students. Those encompass the first four goals that the board has set to maximize academic growth, prepare each student for college and career success, inspire the whole child, and engage every student in relevant learning. The second is, of course, about our life changes and making sure that we have a world-class workforce totally focused on our student achievement. We also have to manage our district resources effectively, which comes down to our operations, our fiscal management, and making sure that every individual in the system has what they need to meet these goals. And of course, lastly, we have to communicate effectively with our community with our internal stakeholders and with our external stakeholders. And the most important part of that, of course, is building strong, positive relationships. As hashtag one LISD, we have to accomplish these goals together. And that begs the question, who are we? Well, we're a fast growth suburban district in central Texas 
with over 42,000 students expected in our district next year. We are a very diverse district with over 79 languages spoken throughout our student population, and we spread across 44 individual schools in 200 square miles. Our LISD family is also economically diverse, and we serve over 8,000 students on free and reduced lunch. Next year, we'll add almost 1,350 students to our family from all over the nation. And we'll graduate close to 3,000 seniors in July and send them out into the world to become life changers themselves. We're incredibly proud of the over 5,000 employees that work diligently day in, day out to make sure that our students can maximize their potential. Our almost 3,000 teachers work around the clock to provide learning opportunities that connect students to their interests and passions. Economically, we're one of the largest employers in town, adding over 140 new jobs in 2019-20. While 55% of our heroic educators in Leander ISD are certified teachers directly touching students in the classroom, it takes an army of other support personnel to make the magic happen in our district. It is the synergy of these folks working together that makes our district the great place that it is and provides the excellent level of education that our community has come to expect. Even with the uncertainty produced by our current situation and COVID-19, data indicates that the district will continue to grow over time. While the numbers on this slide are pre-COVID predictors, we do predict that the district will continue to grow at a significant rate over the next several years. We will be working closely with multiple stakeholders in the near future to design a long-range facilities plan for the district for the next 10 years. This plan will be based on certain realities in the district, and you can see some of those on this slide. The demographic predictions show that 10 new schools will be needed in the next 10 years and that 89% of our new student growth is coming from new homes in the boundaries of the district. Those projected housing occupancies are somewhere north of 45,000 units in the next 10 year span. Of course, these new developments are drawing older students to the district because of their larger, higher priced homes, which excludes younger families often. Our district objectives in this area include providing high quality instructional facilities, while at the same time providing our students and their families choice. We have to also do this while being great stewards of taxpayer dollars. So we know the students are coming. The first four goals for Leander ISD lay the foundation for student success. Let's go and look at some of the indicators that point to that success. SAT and ACT scores are important for our students as they progress to higher education. As you can see, Leander ISD far outperforms both the state and the nation on these indicators. Averages can be deceiving, however, and it's important to point out that we have students who achieve very highly on these tests all the way to perfect scores in some cases. Our students far outperform state averages on state accountability standards too. While this year's graduation ceremony will be a little different, our goal is to graduate every single student who comes through our system. But success runs much deeper than that. Our job is to inspire the whole child and our LISD students demonstrate this success on a daily basis. From marching band state champions to cheer success, from cross country individual competition success to state champions in wrestling, our students have what it takes to compete at the state and national level. We have some of the best and brightest entrepreneurship students in our Incubator EDU program. Our NJROTC program, quite simply, is the best in Texas. And our students continue to excel in broadcasting, yearbook, and a host of other activities that connect students to their interests and passions. If success is about more than just numbers, 
then how do we remain accountable to our community for the success of our school district? Well, these are the exact questions that we asked ourselves and our community during our community accountability update conversations this spring. We really wanted to know what student learning experiences does our community value and how will we measure this success? Through a series of community feedback meetings in our feeder patterns held at each of our six high schools over a period of several weeks, we prompted the community to answer the question, what are the most important things our school should do for each and every student in LISD? With more than 4,000 participants in person and online through Thought Exchange, we generated a host of different thoughts and ideas from all six feeder patterns. And the beauty of the Thought Exchange tool is everybody had the opportunity to view those thoughts and then to rate them to give us some idea about what themes would emerge to answer these critical questions. Our analysis sorted all of these thoughts into five main themes, social emotional learning, new or improved programs, grades or class rank, individualized learning and safety. After almost 65,000 ratings of these thoughts, you can see that the same five themes continue to be very important to all of our community as they try to discern what is it that we should be doing for all students in Leander ISD. It's important when examining this type of qualitative data to make sure to look at the data in lots of different ways. This word bubble is one way that Thought Exchange helps us to visualize what exactly our community is pointing toward. You can see that our community wants our students to be challenged, to be well prepared for their future, to connect to their passions, and for us to provide a high quality education. We also know that each feeder pattern is unique, that all of our communities are slightly different and that their needs are slightly different. And so we examined the themes by feeder pattern to make sure that we were meeting the needs of each of our communities. And you can see from this complicated looking graph that things are quite different in the six feeder patterns. So let's go take a closer look at that. This is perhaps my favorite slide of this whole deck because it really points out the uniqueness of our feeder patterns and the needs that they have. We look forward to working closely with each of our feeder patterns to understand these more carefully and to start to develop plans to meet the needs of our children. Our community conversations were not restricted to our feeder patterns this spring. We also held several focus groups and symposia for our special education parents so that we could better understand their needs and the needs of their children. We used an outside consultant called Copia Consulting for this work. Our job was to find areas of improvement and develop a plan to meet those needs. The report has been released to the public and includes seven areas for us to focus improvement. Parent relationships, improved communication, training for general ed teachers for special education needs, creating materials about services that we offer, our pre-ARD meeting process, redesigning the actual ARD process itself, and creating a parent group to help us to continue to improve in our services to this population. Our diverse population deserves equitable treatment. While we have been having equity and diversity conversations internally in the district for some time, we knew that it was time to reach out to our community and listen to their stories on these issues. We held two town hall meetings in March facilitated by outsiders who would help us to have these crucial conversations on race, equity and diversity. We put out a diversity survey and really strove to understand and listen to what the community was saying to us. The results of this initial work will be presented to the Board of Trustees this Thursday. I urge you to understand that this is the beginning of a conversation and not the end, that we have a long way to go in order to make sure that Leander ISD is inclusive 
and thoughtful about how it addresses the issues of equity and diversity. One of the remaining questions, however, is what will happen next in these uncertain times? We've put together two task forces, one for social distancing and one for virtual learning in order to make sure that the continuum of services we offer in the fall meets the needs of each and every student. We are planning to be flexible and adaptable enough that we can continue to offer the level of excellence that our community expects. The Leander ISD State of the District presentation would not be possible without our sponsors. And so we want to give a special thank you to Smile Doctors. Additional thanks go to Bartlett Cock, Cedar Park Regional Medical Center, American Constructors, Toyota of Cedar Park, Piper Sandler, Ranger Excavating, Pfluger Architects, and Life Touch. Thank you for your incredible support of Leander ISD. Together we can achieve success for each and every student in our care.